Okay, now we are going to show how to measure an included diagonal using double phase method. We have set the instrument at 9003 and we are looking at 9002. This way we have set up uh, 9004. So we are going to measure the included diagonal between 9002 and 9004 from 9003. Right, that is what we are going to do. Right, first we need to switch on the instrument. Right, right. Soon after we switch on the instrument, I will tell you. First thing is we need to ensure our uh, centering is okay. Now, if you go, uh, look at the laser point below, you can clearly see it is at the center of the control point. And then we need to check the tilt. First, we need to uh, clamp before we uh, press any key. Right. Uh, then we need to press the shift button and go to tilt. Right, shift and tilt. Then uh, we can check whether the uh, digital bubble is at the center. Uh, to me, it's okay. Right, uh, we can check uh, it uh, with the digits. Right, so if we uh, click F4, the, uh, the button just below the digit, you will get uh, these values. In one direction, it is zero. In one direction, it is 11 seconds. Right, so we need to bring that 11 seconds to the uh, value less than 10. Right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm just keeping uh, this screen parallel to two foot screws like this and try to adjust the bubble. Right, I'm using the third screw to adjust this one. Right, now we have done the centering and leveling. Next thing is uh, we need to check the EDM settings, right? So now we are going to target to the prisms, right? So EDM, if we go to EDM settings, we have the temperature. Now the time is uh, early morning. Therefore, we need uh, the temperature is about 26 degrees, right? When I change the 26 degrees, you can see the PPM value will change automatically, right? It has become 5.6 PPM that will adjust automatically. The pressure is all, all uh, pressure is okay because uh, it is the atmospheric pressure. 1013 uh, um, at the uh, mean zero level so prism constant is minus 30 so we are not going to change it and uh, the mode is fine average so there are several modes fine are tracking so fine average will give you the average value after um, getting three readings right so reflector is prism right so we are if we change it you see uh, if we make it non prism the prism constant will become zero sheet again zero but prism it is minus 30 so after after adjusting all these settings then only we are going to measure the angles and find the distances right so in a, any traverse we need to measure angles and distances so now we are going to measure the included angle from the 9002 point to 9003 so first i am going to target the um, total station to 9002 so first uh, i i want to make uh, the instrument into the face lift operation right so now it is in the face lift operation the bigger part of the handle right so this is the carrying handle so this part right this part of the left side uh, part of the uh, instrument should be bigger than the right hand side right so that's how we uh, identify it is face lift right so face lift uh, that that has come from the older instruments in the old instrument the vernier scale was there in the left hand side to disable that the left hand side of the instrument has been made bigger than the uh, other side to accommodate all the electronic parts in the left hand side right so now uh, we are going to target to 9002 right This is how I target. First, I need to see through the gun sight and target to the head of the prism and then clamp. Then focus the uh, crosshair focusing screw, right? And I clear the crosshair focusing screw and then, then I clear the object focusing screw. Then I target to the prism, right? In my last videos, I have explained how to target to the prism, right? Now I have targeted to the prism. The crosshairs should cut the 
down hit arrow and the side arrows of the target prism board. I need to move my eye side by side until uh, the crosshair has no relative movement with my movement of the eye. Right, now I have targeted exactly to the prism. So now I have to escape from this uh, page, right? So I press escape. Now I need to go to H set. H set is the button that I should press to give a desired angle, right? So I, uh, if, if you do not find H set, then you can uh, go to this function and see whether H set is there, right? So I press the function. Now I find it set here, right? I prefer to set uh, five degrees here, right? Because uh, if we set zero, when we are doing the calculation, it is very difficult, right? So therefore, I I press uh, I set five, five to that that angle, right? I set five and click OK. Now you see the HAR has become five. That is the horizontal angle. Uh, I have set to that 9002 target, right? So now I'm in the face left operation. So I'm now going to turn it and target to the uh, prism so now I'm going I'm going to turn it and target it to the 9004 prism right when I'm turning the instrument I need to turn it clockwise so you can turn it anti-clockwise as well then uh, you will better understand that we are taking the clockwise angles, right? That's why it is better to turn clockwise because the included angle is clockwise angle between two legs. That's why we turn the instrument clockwise to get the uh, reading of next control point. Right. So now the value is 135, 11, 49. Right, 135, 11, 49 is the value. So that is the face lift reading, right? To remove the instrumental errors, uh, just like uh, the telescope axis is not uh, exactly perpendicular to the Fumian axis like that errors, we need to get the face right reading as well, right? To the same targets. Now when we are turning the instrument, only the upper part is turning and the uh, lower part is as it is there, right? So when the upper part or upper plate of the total station turns, the reading increases, right? Now without turning the upper part, we are going to transit the telescope about the Tronian axis. This axis is called Tronian axis. I unclamp uh, clamping screw, I unclamp the uh, vertical clamping screw and transit transit without turning the base plate right now i have cheated the instrument right now instrument doesn't know that i have turned it 180 degrees from the direction where it was looking previous right so now i am going to target back to the 9004 right then when i am targeting back to the 9004 i need to turn the instrument about 180 degrees right exactly 180 degrees if the instrument has made perfectly the difference between uh, the face left reading and the right face right reading should be uh, exactly 180. Now we will see what will happen, right? So now I am going to turn it and target back to the 9004. Now you see the bigger part of the instrument is at the right hand side of my face, so it is face right operation. Now you see the face right reading is 315 11 minutes and 44 seconds right so it should be 315 11 and 49 right but the value is 315 11 44 right that means the instrument is not made perfectly right so some instrumental errors are there right so we need to record this angle, face right angle, to the 9004 as well. The next step is, we are going to take the face right reading to the 9002 as well. That is the first uh, 
point where we uh, targeted from the facelift, right? So we are getting it at last, right? Now you see the reading is 184 59 43. It should be 185, right? But the value is 184 59 43, right? That means uh, again we, it, uh, we confirm that there is an error in the instrument. So we need to record this face right reading to 9002 as well, right? Now we can get the mean of this face lift and face right uh, readings and obtain the uh, reduced angle or the included angle between this 9002 and 9004 uh, measured from 9003 right so next step is we need to find the distance distance from 9003 to 9004 since this is a control line we don't need to find the distance in this line now I need to find the horizontal distance, right? Horizontal distance from 9003 to 9004. For that, uh, again, I need to find out the suitable option from the keypad, right? So here in the display, it shows HD, SHE, uh, horizontal, uh, HZ, EDM. HZ was the one we were using early, right? So now we need to find out the horizontal distance. For that, HD is the option, right? HD means horizontal distance. If we uh, press SHE, SHE will give you the slope distance, horizontal distance and vertical difference uh, from this point to that control point, right? So now I'm going to press HD. When I press HD, now you see three readings were taken and the average distance is displayed here. It is 68.788. Now if you uh, click SHE, you will see now this is VA. VA is the vertical difference between the prism and this total station uh, telescope, right? And then if, if I press again SHV, you will get the slope uh, slope distance. It is 68.797. It is greater than the horizontal distance, right? Always the slope angle or the slope distance is greater than the horizontal distance, right? If we press back SHV, HA, the horizontal distance will give back 68.788. That's how you uh, find out the horizontal distance using the total station. Now we will see how to get the mean values of face left and face right reading. First of all, what we need to do is we need to deduct 180 degrees from face right reading to correct it. After that, we have to add it to the face left reading and divide it by 2 to get the mean value. Then we have to add 4 degrees 59 minutes and 43 seconds to 5 degrees and divide it by 2 then the mean value is 4 degrees 59 minutes 51.5 seconds so we can record it in the mean column similarly we can find the mean value for 9003-9004 line again we need to deduct 180 degrees from face right reading to correct it and then add it to the face left reading and divide it by 2 then we need to add 135 degrees 11 minutes and 49 seconds to 135 degrees 11 minutes and 44 seconds and divide it by 2 then the mean value is 135 degrees 11 minutes and 46.5 seconds and we have recorded it in the mean column and then we need to find out the reduced angle for that we need to deduct the mean of 9003-9004 line from mean of 9003-9004 line then the deducted radius angle is 130 degrees 11 minutes and 55 seconds. So that is how we find the radius angle or the included angle between two points or two stations from the station where the instrument operates. Similarly, we can carry out the traverse using angle and distances. So today we learn how to measure an included angle, not only that, but also how to measure a distance using the total station. In our next video, we will see how to do a close link travel using a total station and how to do the calculation of it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of the very latest videos.